Hey friends, welcome to Nilu Zaldi Cooking. Today I am making Rasa Wala Rice Mutya Vegetable. This is made from if you have a leftover rice and you don't want to use it, then you can just make a nice variety out of it. And it's very yummy. You will enjoy either with chapati or with the rice or a paratha. It's very easy. Let's see how we can this do it. This is my leftover rice, which I had done it here last night, yesterday. And I'm going to make it. It comes out very good. Something new kind of a variety and it's a Gujarati style. So let's make it. I'm taking the rice in a bowl. Okay. This is round about two and a quarter cup, but you can take two cups also. And now let's go on adding the ice. We are first taking in the rice. We are first taking one fourth cup of a whole wheat flour. So this is a one fourth cup of whole wheat flour. In that one tablespoon of chaneka atta. That's a gram flour. So one tablespoon of that. Along with that, green chilli and ginger. Okay. Some lime juice. Gives very good taste in it. Lime juice. Salt to taste. Sugar. I'll take round about one teaspoon of sugar. A sofa tida. Okay. Now, this is a coriander powder. That's a dana jeera. I'll take one teaspoon of that. One teaspoon of red chili powder. And just a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now, lots of coriander leaves. Lots of it. Okay. So coriander leaves and now just mix it well and just mix it thoroughly because we want a good binding. Okay. Make like a dog. It will take round about 3 to 4 tablespoon of oil. Now bind it together like a dog. And if you don't feel that you cannot make a ball out of it, then add some more of a either wheat flour or a gram flour. I think I will need some flour. So I will add round about 2 tablespoons more. I am adding 1 tablespoon of more gram flour into it. The dough is ready. And now grease your hand. I'm greasing my hand and make a muthia out of it. Some dumpling of. Don't make it too thin. Kind of. And bind it tight so it doesn't break. Okay. Make a dumpling of this size. And make sure that you grease your hand. Okay, so the coating of the oil comes on it. Okay, so bind it like this. So that way you can finish all of it. So our I have already rolled the mutias and make sure the binding should be tight and firm. And if you cannot bind tightly, then please go on adding some flour into it. Okay, so this is done. Now we are making gravy. So the now gravy part is very simple. Heat the oil. Okay, I'm taking round about. 2 tablespoon of oil. Okay. Let it become hot. Oil has become hot. So I will take cumin seeds and 
1 teaspoon of jeera powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Let it get crackled. Now adding asafoetida, lots of asafoetida into it and curry leaves. So now in the masalas, put your flame in a low and adding half a teaspoon of a turmeric powder, as much you like chili, one teaspoon of a coriander powder and half a teaspoon of a cumin powder. Mix everything well and now slowly, slowly go on adding buttermilk, adding buttermilk inside. Okay, when you add buttermilk, make sure you just go on stirring. Otherwise, the curd breaks inside. Okay, so always make sure you go on stirring it because we don't want curd to break. Now, salt to taste. And along with this, this is my ginger chili paste. So some of a ginger chili paste, you can add as much you want. Okay, go on stirring again. Give it one boil. Once you get one boil, then go on adding the dumpling. Now it is coming to the boiling point. So that time I am adding some lots of coriander leaves inside. Okay. And go on adding the dumpling slowly, slowly. And then don't stir too much. Just keep it inside. And we are not going to fry the dumpling because the rice is already cooked. And make sure, as I said, the binding should be firm like this. See, it's so firm. Okay? It should be firm like this. Now, let it soak the buttermilk inside very gently. Place everything inside. Now, allow it to cook for few minutes. Okay? And gently from the side turn it like this from the side because we don't want dumpling to break because these are not fried okay you see it's not breaking inside see it's becoming big because it's absorbing the buttermilk and very gently I am moving it here in the middle so it's boiling so I will allow another three minutes Total, I am boiling it for about 8 minutes. So, it will properly absorb. The muthiya will absorb the buttermilk. So, it gives a very good taste. I already boiled it for about 8 minutes. So, now you can see the muthiyas or a dumpling. It has become so nice. Right? And the gravy has become little thicker than what it was before. Okay, so now it's ready to eat. So I will take it in my plate. I'll plate it. First taking some mutias. Wow. Looks so good. See, it's not breaking also. So the binding is very important. And buttermilk, please go on stirring it so it doesn't break. The, okay, so our, our mutias are ready to eat and I'm tempting to try. Oh, it's so soft from inside. I can immediately break it and knew the rice was cooked. It's hot, but I will take little of it. It's steaming hot. really yummy. I don't need chapati with it. It's so yummy. Please do try and thank you for watching and check my other recipes.